So Alex has taken off this extension piece that was on here. Obviously it's got to be cleaned up yet, but this is how it looks so much so it's more open wheeled. I'll take it around the other side to give you an idea why. If you see there, this is the piece. So on the on the limousines that or the or the sedans that would have put this on but not on the pickups. So and you can see this one is absolutely buggered. It's apart from that. And it just looks, I don't know if you can see there. It just looks that bit better. So, yeah, we're um, once we can start repairing these and these might get these massive dents out of them and stuff. Whether we'll use the same kind of bolting system, I'm not quite sure. And it looks like the piece that goes on here. Uh, the, I pull this wing support out. Yeah. Have a look at it. This wing support that we've got in here doesn't actually fit the profile anyway. This is the original one. Anyway. Yeah, but it's. So we've just recreated something similar to that. So that goes on the inside there, doesn't it, basically? Yeah. But it doesn't contact where you think it would. It only yeah. contacts on the bolts on the chassis and the bolts on the wing, that's it. Doing a sterling job on this, he's got everything. So all this is done along here, he's cut everything out, it's done the top. Uh, just gonna finish that piece up there. But now we've got a proper window frame. Um, what we are doing with this is we're gonna build a, a hood for it. So there'll be a hood coming out here like there is in the, the Chevy step size. Um, but it won't be one that's, um, uh, that's bolted on, it's detachable, it'll be actually attached to the vehicle. Because this front's pretty shit anyway. Who did this? And then uh, Alex, as Alex is pointing out, he did this. Who did that? He, yeah. You didn't grind it though. Uh, well, 99%. <laughs> <laughs> no, a mere, a mere medic prayer. <laughs> so, so that was that. I, I, what I'll do is, I, in the video, I'll put up a, a one of the, what it was originally. Yeah, yeah. it was horrible. So. But yeah, look at this now. I mean, that yeah. before, you could you could push and it was bending. Yeah. Now, it's, it's an absolute oh. solid piece. And then this bit, he's had to remake all of this section or you can't even see it but all the way back here and in here he's put some braces in as well because it was just completely gone to probably to about here on the inside and he's had to make all that it's, it's superb so is, is there three skins in there now three three there's three skins in there now and then that means it'll be easier for your rubber to go on water the, that, no, no, the rubber's not going oh, on the, there. Yeah, the rubber don't go on there. No, it, it, it's actually, the, the window's going to tilt forward. Oh, okay. But what there probably will be some kind of rubber seal for it to yeah, sit against. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it'll sit really nice in that yeah. channel now. Yeah, um, and there's plenty of room for oh, it. Oh, loads, yeah, so you can pick whatever rubber you want, really. So it's completely transformed the yeah. sturdiness of it. I saw that, but this is one mil, so it should. It's pretty quick. All right. So we had a little bit of a, an issue with this. We we tried to uh, single spot weld it, but what didn't take into account, or what none of us thought about really, was the uh, the main cage is actually uh, over two mil thick, well over two mil thick that I've made the the actual frame out of. And when we try to single spot weld it, obviously there is it's a heat it's heat sink in it, and it's it's catching, but not enough. So basically we took it, we've kind of got it off and uh, uh, punched holes in it with the hole puncher, which is here. with here. This is a new one. I gave the other one to Alex. Yeah. Here. So he went round and punched it all. Yeah. And then we spot welded it all the way around now and it's absolutely solid. There's a few bits we need to go back over, but generally it's there. Uh, and we might... But it's now... But it's... It's now part of yeah, the car. Yeah, it's now part of the car. It was just... 
the the single spot welder just wasn't uh, suffice. Uh, it was, yeah, it was holding, but if you really give it a yank, it would, was coming away. Anyway, so we had to revert back to doing the spot welding, which is which is work. So tomorrow we'll get all this cleaned down, and uh, Amir is working on a panel there in the front, and he's got another one in the back there. And the other one project we're doing in the morning, which I'll film for you, is the beading. So this one here will be the tailgate. Can you just pull that up at an angle? Yeah. Towards me. So that'll be the tailgate beading. There you go, my, my assistant. Oh, there. Yeah. That will be the tailgate. QVC. And then these ones here will be the sides. Each. That's the backboard, this one here, a small one. A short one here. Not for the backboard. That's quite nice, pretty straight. And this is the sideboard here. A little bit, a little bit of a, we can clean that up though, this edge. And there's the other one, that's the, looking at it from the other side. But you can see it better. Pretty straight. Quite happy with that. Obviously the inside boards will have nothing on them. But I think that looks pretty good. What I'll do then, I'd like to put the Citroen double V in it. The inverted V. Um, but I think what I'll do is I've got a friend of mine who's got a, a, a 3D printer. <clears throat> I think I'll get him to 3D print the, the, dub, the logo. And uh, we'll put threads in it and screw it from the back and paint it a different colour, put it right in the middle there. Because unfortunately with the bead roller it needs to, I think the logo kind of gets thicker as it gets to the top of the V. So I'll get one 3D printed. I, so I've got a friend, uh, Lewis, that can do it for me. There we are. This is the second wing being cut off. You can see how rusty it is on that lip. Anywhere we have a double fold like that. So there we are. Crack on with this one. We've given that dent a bit of a knockout, but most of the metal's come out. So we have to dolly that up. There's a lot of work to do to these wings. But we're moving on. Onwards and upwards, as they say. Stay safe, keep the faith. 
and enjoy your hobby like this.